Kaplan Cycles on site at the New England Motorcycle Museum. And today, I'm proud to be representing one of the powerhouse cruisers of the 90s. This is a 1994 Suzuki Intruder 1400. Um, this thing will suck the paint off of a 1340 Harley Davidson from the same era. Um, it, it'll do a high 12 second quarter mile at over 100 miles per hour. It's um, a fantastic motorcycle, it's gorgeous. Uh, I, was, I rode it today and one of the kids from the shop, one of the younger kids looked at it and goes, wow, is that a total custom? Look at the matching paint frame, looks like a, I said, no, this is bone stock. One of the big things about this bike, this is 100% original. Original owner, one owner bike, original paint. It even has the original tires on it. If you read the, the uh, date code of manufacturer, it's the 25th week of 1993, and the motorcycle was built in July of 1993. It's a 94 model. Um, it is uh, full provenance on this motorcycle. It's a one owner motorcycle. I have all the paperwork from the dealership. I'll show you that in a moment. And the thing's absolutely in stunning shape. We just put quite a bit of, of money into the bike, the mechanical um, uh, restoration and, and uh, maintenance of the bike. I'll go over everything we did with it. I'll do a quick demo of the motorcycle riding, bring it back in, and, and uh, read you the work order on it. Let me show you the um, original factory paperwork on the bike we have right here. This, uh, I worked at uh, New England Cycles. This is the original factory um, um, sales and dealer uh, odometer disclosure statement showing that it's brand new. Uh, with five miles on it. Here's the original bill of sale. The motorcycle was $7,399. Um, that was the cash price. Uh, the original Suzuki warranty service card is right here, as is the original immaculate VS1400 GL owner's manual. Uh, I also have the original, in the original envelope, original title of this motorcycle, uh, made out to Mr. Vincenzo Crusetti in Bristol, Connecticut, where I purchased the motorcycle from him. And uh, he bought this bike brand new, 1994 Suzuki. The um, only signed it over right here. So I have perfect clean history of the motorcycle, title, bill of sale. Also the red, last registration of the motorcycle. So you have title, bill of sale, registration. Also this, the, the pre-delivery checklist from the, the um, dealer. And then I have the, the full uh, work order on the motorcycle of everything that we did to it. We've gone completely through the entire motorcycle front to back. Uh, over 31 hours labor were put into the motorcycle, although we only built out 21 on the work order. We went to factory uh, um, numbers, which are, were less. Uh, and over $1,000 worth of parts were put in the bike. We totaled $3,750 was just invested in this motorcycle in uh, parts and labor, and it is absolutely perfect. The bike's been fully detailed front to back. It's immaculate. The bottom of the engine is as clean as the top. Let me just give you a quick demo of the bike and I'll roll it back in and read you off the work order and a complete description of everything that we did. Bike runs absolutely perfect. Fires right up, electric start, purrs like a kitten. Runs like a, it's faster than my new Harley. Again, this was a powerhouse cruiser, one of the fastest V-twins on the market, one of the biggest ones at 1,400 cc. The bike's extremely smooth. Very fast, it pulls like a freight train. It's a 1400cc engine with a four speed wide ratio transmission. So you put this thing in second or third gear and crack the throttle and it pins you in the seat. And it runs like the day it came out of the showroom. It runs like a brand new bike. It only has 12,000 miles on it, it's barely broken in. Fantastic motorcycle. down the street and do a drive-by.
bike purrs like a kit and it's got so much horsepower, it doesn't matter if there's one or two people on it, the thing pulls like a freight train. bike runs better than new. It's got a brand new battery in it, all new fluids. The complete carburetor system has been completely rebuilt on it by the best in the industry. It's probably one of the nicest intruders. Well, I can tell you this, it's the nicest 90s intruder that you'll find for sale anywhere. Uh, there's nothing on eBay even close to this as far as the condition, mileage, and the amount of service and work that's been put into this bike. And it's 100% original right down to the tires. Everything works beautifully, the horn, the uh, turn signals, Left and right, uh, high beam, low beam, the idiot lights, check out the brake lights. Hop on, we'll take it right back up to the shop. This bike is uh, really, really low to the ground. It's a uh, um, Got a low seat at I'm six foot two and it fits me perfectly. But if you have a short inseam, like my, my girlfriend's 5'4, she could ride this thing no problem. They uh they're known for being extremely reliable. Um it's basically a zero maintenance bike if you take care of it. Uh, it's got shaft drive. Um it's got shaft drive, uh electronic ignition, um I can't say enough good about it. It's, it's a bulletproof motorcycle. The Japanese are notorious for having excellent engineering. Some of the docks are right. cool engines on the market um, and it was the fastest with a high 12 second quarter mile so this is this thing's no slouch it'll get up and go um, and it's gorgeous like I said the, the young guys that work here thought it was a custom when they saw it because this is before their time this is a 94 it has the um, dark burgundy burgundy uh, paint job with the chrome on the side there's chrome everywhere on this bike the engine cases um, the frames painted to match this is a fantastic machine Again, original tires, 100% original, original bike, just beautiful. Um, I have the work motor here, and uh, as Kenny goes around and focuses on the bike, I'll read off. Uh, first of all, we put a brand new Uasa battery in it and cleaned all of the uh, terminals on it and all the cables uh, and ran a cylinder compression test on it. The front and rear were right up to par. Um, the uh, spark plugs were replaced with brand new NGK spark plugs. We installed a brand new Dyna 3000 igniter, ignition igniter, uh, an upgrade from the stock one, a known performance upgrade, so the thing runs perfectly. Um, the, uh, we drained, once the electronics and everything was completely gone through, all the lights, everything confirmed to be working, even the, even the idiot in the back, the uh, back lights on the speedometer, everything's perfect on it. We uh, went through the fuel system, took the gas tank off, drained the gas tank, removed the fuel pet cock, washed out the tank and used the um, metal rescue uh, 
chemical to clean the tank out and get rid of any old fuel. <coughs> uh, put it back together, uh, put the pack pack back on there, added new fresh fuel was stable. <coughs> and uh, we removed and replaced the carburetors and did a complete cleaning. This is no small task. You're not going to do this at home. Uh, you need to have a shop with all the right chemicals and tools and, and, and equipment. We removed and replaced the cars and formed a complete cleaning, adjusting, and rebuilding of the carburetors. <coughs> we replaced the damaged rear car vacuum slide, replaced all the gaskets and O-rings, all the float valves, the fuel filters, and then adjusted the throttle cables. We installed brand new foam air filters, the Uni brand, which are an upgrade from the stock one, they're stock replacements, and brand new oil filters with um, brand new uh, engine oil. We, we replaced the um, carburetors, put it all back together, ran it, and then synchronized the carburetors while it was running. The uh, standard, you know, the carbs were tuned while the bike was were, was running, so it runs perfectly. One of the things, one of the uh, things we, we did is this front valve cover right here, the chrome on it looks brand new because it is brand new. It's an NOS brand new valve cover. Uh, the front one, the, the valve cover that had was on there had some chrome peeling, uh, missing chrome issues. Um, the back one is next, almost perfect. It has a couple match size patina marks on the top. But again, this is a 23 year old motorcycle. We expected a little bit of patina on it. There's a little bit of patina on the chrome on the cases and on the pipes, but it shows beautifully. Um, it looks like a show bike. The, uh, and it's all original, uh, except for this OEM brand new NOS replacement, which is original, original factory. Anyways, um, the motorcycle then uh, uh, had the clutch master cylinder. It, this has a hydraulic clutch, unlike the archaic cable ones that the Harleys have. This is a master, it's a, a hydraulic clutch. Uh, the master cylinder was rebuilt, all in fluid. Um, the uh, uh, new crush washers. Then they went through the brake system. The entire brake system, front and rear, was completely gone through. The front master cylinder was rebuilt. The caliper was rebuilt. All the fluids were flushed and new fluid was put in and it was bled. Um, the, the tires were inspected and they are the original tires. So to keep the provenance and originality to this vehicle, we did not replace the tires. Uh, the front tire with 12,000 miles in, in, indicates the type of use this guy did not beat on this motorcycle. The rear tire is it got a lot of life left with 12,000 miles on it, and it's the original tire. Just fantastic to find one in this condition. Very, very rare. Um, the tire pressures were set and was test ridden. Uh, again, like I said, um, between my time and the technician's time and, and the uh, detail guy's time, uh, we rode it up at 21 hours, but the really was 31 hours. We charged $120 an hour. Uh, so we, uh, we, we, we backed that down to 21, which is right out of the shop manual. It doesn't include the detailing. Um, the uh, parts, the total parts, uh, shop supplies, uh, shipping, and everything else along with the labor, the total was $3,527 plus tax of $224. The total was $3,751. If you bought your bike in here and wanted what we done to it, what we did to it, that's what it would cost you. Um, the bike shows absolutely gorgeous. There's a little bit of patina on the tank. If you look at the top of the tank right here, there was a factory warning sticker right here, and the original owner must have peeled that off, so um, underneath where the sticker was, there's a little bit of a uh, difference in, in the color. Um, the seat has a little, tiny little blemish right here, and a, a, a small blemish right here that was, um, that was uh, uh, repaired, you can see. Uh, so other than that, the seat looks great. The color looks fantastic. It's just a beautiful bike. Again, um, you're not gonna find another 94 Intruder 1400. We had one come in here that did not run, that had all kinds of issues, and we auctioned off on eBay about $1,200, and it went over to the UK, it was shipped overseas, so must have cost them at least a grand to go over there. So there is, there is a, a, a following of these bikes, and they are becoming more and more collectible because most of them got, you know, like, like, like most bikes from the 90s, got run into the ground. So it's uh, over 20 years old, uh, it is a classic, and it's been completely serviced by the professionals at the New England Motorcycle Museum. So truly a, a museum quality survivor, you know, something you're not gonna find uh, available very rarely. So it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to buy a like new intruder with all original paint, tires and everything. So it's been thoroughly uh, sorted out for, uh, and the, it's gonna have a low reserve on it. We'll let the market determine what the value is. Uh, so good luck bidding on the bike. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. A portion of the proceeds from the sale will go to funding the New England Motorcycle Museum, so you're not only buying a classic 
um, Japanese power cruiser, the fastest B-twin cruiser of its era. You're also helping preserve moto history. So um, good luck bidding on the bike. I'm gonna roll it in the showroom, put it on display until it sells, and uh, God bless America. Thank <laughs> you.